to recalibrate recalibrate our syllabus we know this we did this when we shifted from face to face to online but this time i wanted you to highlight on um the learning activities um highlight give emphasis on the learning activities remember in our syllabus we have learning outcomes we have topic and then we have activities and then we have a column for assessment pay particular attention for the learning activity you have to stipulate what are the asynchronous activities that can be done online um, asynchronous when we say asynchronous this could be assessment in nature it could be reading resources it could be in discussion type it depends because there are varied activities that we can categorize as a synchronous activity. Pay attention on the synchronous activities. What day, what time, what, pl what platform, what particular topic should be done for synchronous activities. You have to incorporate the face-to-face -face activity, which among those topics and which among those learning outcomes that will be done in face-to-face. -face. Pwede naman kasi we can say, okay, in in my syllabus, my limited face-to-face -face is only 18 hours out of out of 48 hours. Only one periodic term we will be meeting. And then after that, we will not meet anymore. Or pwede din naman kasing prelim and midterm, we will not meet. But we will meet on the final period. Because that is the time that the higher thinking order skills are elaborated. So we can do that. So it's really, we have to specify which among those activities are asynchronous, synchronous, and face-to-face -face activities. Aside from that, you have to quantify the contact hours. Baka kasi at the end of the day, teachers are like zombie-like na dahil sa daming activity na ginagawa. Just like what we did from face-to-face -to, -face to online, we are overwhelmed on how to prepare our activities and we did not know that we are we are on screen almost 24 7 and we feel that uh kasi yung mindset naka face to face but summary in total it's more than the usual three hours per week that you are contacting with the class no so that is why i always tell when we put remember in our syllabus we have teaching we we even have time frame there for some there is a time frame we have to incorporate we have to quantify how much screen time during the synchronous and for the odl students that who cannot attend for the face-to-face -face, you measure how much time they needed they needed for asynchronous and how much time they needed for synchronous uh, for the face to for students who can come on campus in in person always count also measure also the screen time during the asynchronous and the screen time of the face to face baka kasi you will forget na yung mini measure mo lang is only the face to face and then students will be bombarded with so many activities with the other subjects also especially in the online activities so there are two major things that i would want you to highlight when you do when you recalibrate your syllabus pay attention to the learning activities then uh, quantify the contact hours it has to be stipulated in the syllabus how many hours for synchronous how many hours for asynchronous what are the topic to be synchronous and asynchronous i hope at this level at this time it is clear already in our mind how we can partition our activities and divide them according to synchronicity of the delivery, whether synchronous and asynchronous. Oh, by the way, you can also incorporate bichronous. What is that? It is asynchronous within asynchronous or the other way around. Asynchronous activities, but there are real-time activities into it. There are synchronous activities inside asynchronous activities. Oh, this is the one I'd mentioned to you that uh, 
uh, you have to quantify. You have to quantify and quali qualify also the different activities. So you have two groups of students here, the online and the students who can do face-to-face. -face. By the way, these students who can do face-to-face -face not necessarily mean that they will only meet you in face-to-face. -face. That is why in my here, I, I am referring to face-to-face -face group of students who can do in person and at the same time should do the on, online thing. Remember, not all activities in the limited should be done in, in person. Um, only few and allowable activities can be done in person. So you have to consider um, how much is online. Is it 99%? Is it lower than 100%? So you have to consider that. Like if you have a lecture, if if the, if your subject is a lecture type of a 52 hours um, or, or a 54 hours, identify how many percentage are to be done in face-to-face -face for those students who will do face-to-face. -face. Okay, or um, your, your subject or your course can be done 50-50 meaning 50% face-to-face, 50% online, or depend, it depends. Again, it depends on your policy because the guideline is very open to interpretation and we can have our own way of, our own way of um, interpreting the guidelines into a very specific policy in the classroom. Um.